Hello everybody, bienvenido a Toro. Welcome to Vabrut with me, Vabrut. We are here in uh, Train Sim 1.4 as always, and this is a pre-recorded video, no live stream at the moment. Um, I'm going to wait till TS5 is out and then um, and then dive into it. Or I might do one more after the folder preview, but actually no, I don't think I'll have time because the folder preview is on Wednesday and the game comes out on Thursday. So this, this Thursday, so this is, I'm recording this on the 8th of September and the game is releasing on the 12th so that's Thursday I think um, and the next preview is the folder preview which is on Wednesday so I'm doing today I'm going to be doing um, New York Trenton which uh, I know people have feelings about um, but I'm going to show you you might be wrong um, and um, that's in honor of the last live stream for TSW5 which was not the last last, but the, the last one that happened, which was the um, San Bernardino line. Um, and that is going to be our, uh, that's what I'll talk about in between driving from, we're going to be going from New York Penn to Washington. Well, we're only going as far as Trenton. Um, but um, I... I, I, I just wanted to do an American route and I didn't want to do diesel one because they're all like so slow. <laughs> like I was going to do Antelope Valley, but I was like, um, the quickest service you can do is like an hour or nearly an hour, I think, or something like 40 minutes. And, and it just, I'm, it's, it was, I was like, I'd want to do something fast and electric, <laughs> which means New York corridor, um, Northeast corridor, not New York corridor. So let's get started. Uh, open the doors. Gonna du -du -du, turn on the, them to permanently. Put the headlights on. Passenger. Du -du -du, do I need anything here? Du -du -du, du -du -du -du. I need to turn on the safety systems. I've got it set as December and quite cold, so I'm gonna put heat. Wiper. I'll probably need the wiper once we get out, uh, but none of these do anything. Does that do anything? Nope, 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 nope. So, oh, you fucking mouse thing. Uh, we'll do ACs cut in. We will do ATC cut in. And we will do close the door. And then we will go bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Uh, but, but we go about when it's about 45 seconds, I will lock the doors. Here we are in New York Pan. So, if you haven't seen this game since it like first launched, they did patch in a bunch more uh, AI trains to be in New York Pan. So, it does actually feel like quite busy now. Um, right, I'll close the doors. <gasps> that train is there. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's leaving. No. It's just there. The platforms are very long and the, the ACL is quite short. I think it's six passenger cars, top and tailed by a loco. This beauty. Easily one of the nicer looking American locos. I do like the big ones and I do like, actually, I was gonna, I was thinking about doing Boston Sprinter. But I couldn't find a service that was like enough. Um, and also because I'll probably do that when, um, when the next MBTA route comes out, which should be shortly after TS should be the first route to launch um, in TSW5. Because it's on the roadmap as the next one. Um, and it will go into Boston South Station. So I'm assuming the seller will, if you have it, will appear as um, AI, the Northeast Corridor, but then the actual line itself will just be a mixture of diesel locos and, and carriages for MBTA. So I'll, I'll save, if I find a good service, I'll save that for then. Um, and now we can do the Northeast Corridor because it means we can do a Tilty Train, which is like the Pendolino. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's not exactly like the Pendolino. And the Ice-T, and not exactly like the Ice-T. Um, I'll explain why later. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to use the cruise control at the moment. Maybe I should. I don't know. I will when we get into the tunnel because we'll be going downhill. So the moment, like you can see, we are in New York Pan, and oof, there's all the trains in Pan. 
There's the yard, uh, which is above us. We are going underneath that now. So there's like ramps that go up into the yard and there is um, tunnels that go underneath it and underneath the Hudson. Yeah. Well, on the other side, they go down through the East River. No, wait, never ever spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Hudson. Okay, I'm gonna put the. Yeah. Deal with that. Oh no! Yeah, it will only break if you have the throttle increased. <laughs> that was a, that was a, an oversight. So it's like a blended throttle. The cruise control, like it requires you to have the throttle turned up for for you to apply apply brakes. And this is the annoying thing when you put, when you do use the cruise control, it applies full power, regardless of what your throttle is. But then the braking seems to be linked to how much percentage. It's very strange. I did see, I think I remember a comment on the forum that said it is prototypical, but it just seems weird. Um, I guess it's easy when you're using the actual train to m move the um, the uh, the cruise control lever because in this game it's very slow when you use the like the D-pad and the and the the uh, controls to do it. Ba, ba, ba. Off we go. So we are here, and we are going to go all the way to here. So we're going to stop at I think that's New York Penn. Yeah, and then I think we have one more stop randomly along the way somewhere, like a, a parkway type situation, and then we go to Trenton. And as we're using safety systems, I don't think we will be on time. Never quite understood the safety systems in this in the on the route, the, the northeast corridor route, but um, it's the same with Boston Sprinter. You you it's very it's practically impossible to keep the time because you get bored down to speed by the ATC long before well when it doesn't look like there's anything in front of you that close so we shall see we go 60 60 60 yeah so the san bernardino line um it does look it looks it looked nice actually. It has a it's it's it has much more interesting um topography. Is that the word I'm looking for? Than um Antelope Valley. Antelope Valley is kinda of like city city, countryside, dry hills. Um <laughs> but San Bernardino is much more like you're driving through the suburbs of LA the whole way. Um so you're going alongside freeways, down the middle of freeways, you're going in between houses, it's all very I wouldn't call it urban because LA is like the definition of anti-urban, um, but it it is fairly um, it does, oh, I should put the wipers on. It does have a um, oh look at that oh now I'm sorry but that is gorgeous oh it is. Promise not to take too many <laughs> photos. Well, you know what my promises are worth. Uh, so, depth of field a little bit. Yeah. Go. Yes. Yes, I like that. Let me. Let me just take one with a little bit more exposure. I will put on a vignette. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, gorgeous. Any gorgeous. Right. So we can increase the speed now. I'm gonna get like wheel spin whatever happened because of the because of that that cruise control, but it's just easier to control the speed of the train, so I'm gonna use it anyway. Oh and we can see the um approaches tilting. Suppression, suppression, suppression. Oh, did I get the break? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. 
So that was the first of many trains we were going to pass today. It was a, um, a New Jersey Transit uh, double decker. Oop to 90. Dun, 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 dun. And this is Syracuse, I think. Is it? Let me check the map. Sec oh no, this is Secaucus. Yeah, Secaucus. Syracuse, I think. Maybe that's um, somewhere else in America. <laughs> I don't know if it's normal to have the uh, bells going, but I feel I felt like doing it. Interestingly, right, we have sixty coming up. I am going to start breaking four because the uh, access will bring us down anyway. When you least expect it. There we go. It's just for a bridge. I think it must be a weak bridge. So it brings you down to 60 and then... Um, and then you go back up. Interesting though. I, don't, I can't remember if it was this train, but I was playing something the other day. Um, and I was like, the sanding is making a difference. And I didn't think it did. But it, it, was, it was doing something. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's hard not to want to just take millions of pictures. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Oh, I'm just going to take that picture. No, I need to, I should save and upload it, yeah. Oof, that's a nice one. I do like this route in this weather. It's gorgeous. A bit misty, clouds. Snow on the ground. Mm -hmm. Go back up to ninety. That's the other thing. When you use the brakes, the air brakes, you have to or the train brake, you have to reset the throttle. <laughs> it doesn't actually matter where I put the throttle because it will just push it up to max anyway. So I'll leave it at that. We'll see. We've got to go down to 60 again soon anyway. So, yeah, because I think after that overpass, yeah, there's a curve. And then we start the approach into Newark. Newark Penn. I'm assuming they're called Penn, these big stations, because it was the Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Railroad who built them. So, presumably, it was to differentiate it from other stations. Um, oh, no, I need to put the... Go. Oop, and there comes it goes a plane. One of the weird planes that aren't licensed, so they have engines right at the ends uh, outside of the wings. And we should go down, down the big ramp. Very nice ramp. Takes us over these tracks that I think are like a mixture of um, see see like if you saw this when this game when this line first released there was not that much AI but now there's a decent amount it's much better if you're leaving New York I think tends to be because all the most of the AI AI is at this end like once you get down to here it's just a big long line there aren't that many there isn't that many new traffic being added but as you get closer to New York more trains jumping on from the branches um, and coming from off the map. Oh, let's go down to 45. Go on. <laughs> this is 
is also a deceptive route because it gives you the feeling like, oh, the time table is really generous um, when you stop. But then when you get to the end, you're like, oh, it's not generous at all. Damn it. Lie to me. Right, let's see some tilt action. Tilt action. See the train tilting. Oh. There we go. See? So only the coach is tilting this. Because this is loco hold. So the loco doesn't tilt. So they have like an active tilt system that, that sort of pushes them over in the corners. Whereas the loco, because the loco doesn't have passengers in it, it doesn't need to tilt. Whereas in the Pendolino and the IST, they are multiple units. So, so they do tilt. Both the, the front and the, 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 the driving cabs. Because they're integrated with passengers, passenger uh, sections. Ooh. I'm going to bring this down to 25. Oh, come on. Oh, bam. Here we go. There's a, um, a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, a metro line, a cab car. I wonder if that's going our direction or the other direction. I couldn't tell the light, what colour the lights were. Uh, let's put the brakes on. Oh, that train is waiting to come into that platform, so yeah, it must be going the other way. To be going to New York. Want me to unlock the doors? Okay, I've got a big layover now. Oh yeah, there he goes. Bye bye. So we'll get to watch this one. Come in. I th I think <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I'm going to turn that that wipe wiper down. Make it slow. I think. Or inter intermittent. Yeah, because it's not actually that. Um, the snow isn't that heavy. Bye bye. Northeast Corridor Express, Northeast Express, and hello, New Jersey Transit, who is waiting an extraordinarily long time. Oh, there he goes. And we've still got two minutes to get all our passengers on board. None of who are... Oh, yeah, they're, they're coming, but they're not getting on the train. <laughs> or maybe they're not getting into business class. Poor people. First class, business class. I think it, I think it is only first class and business class, isn't it? Or is there another class? Coach. No, it's business class. It's the standards class. Standard. Yeah. Ooh, another one. See, see, you know, this timetable's not bad. Look, look, we've got train coming on the left. Train coming on the right. Could probably do with more people. Not that I've been to the station, I don't think. But well, I assume it would be very busy with people at this time of morning. Going to Newark, New Jersey. Ooh, that train wasn't even stopping here. Look at that. Mm, flash. Bye, then. Um, got to close the door soon. Uh, put the reading door to 35. And... Well, I will enjoy overtaking you when I'm going 140. Hmm. Okay, 40 seconds. I'll close the doors. All you people, I don't know who, maybe they're waiting for a New Jersey transit train. Must be. I don't care. <laughs> None of you get on my cafeteria. Oh, that's a very busy train today. Seems to be a thing with some of the TS3 routes. Just to be three routes, which I think this was one. They 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 don't collect passengers. Right, releasing the brakes, and I'm gonna make a go for it now. Let's go. This fan spin up. Do 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 do. Ooh. Let's 
Yeah, and it was the um, the baby bullet from Caltrain that, that appears on the um, the San Bernardino line. It's not like it is. It has a slightly different cab, I think, um, and obviously a different livery, but it is the same train. Um, and then the cab, the um, the uh, passenger cars are those ones that have that weird shape, but they're not allowed to use them as cab cars anymore. I don't know why. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! We're in a race! <gasps> oh, we are in a race! We are in a race! Oh my god, we are in a race. Uh, let me get uh oh, let me get the oh, bloody pantograph. Pilfering pantograph. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, isn't that nice? I don't think I even need to really do much. I might increase the exposure a bit. Be a little bit of whitey vignette around the sides. Maybe a yeah, I'll take that. There you go, you can have that. But I mean, like, look at that. That's like... New York! Well, this is technically New Jersey, I think. <laughs> How rude that he is. Like, is he going faster than me? Okay, no, he's accelerating faster than me. Don't you, don't you even think about trying to show me up. I'm the Acela. The fastest train in America. He got the he got the um got the leg up on me, but he's accelerated down fast. Also didn't have to deal with like the real physics like I do. Like I'm wheel spinning all the way. Come on. Well at some point you're gonna have to like reach your maximum speed and I'm gonna reach my maximum speed, so and my maximum speed's a lot faster than yours, Mr. New Jersey Transit. By level coaches. Very lovely, I must say. Don't understand why they have the two two doors though. Is one there, one there. Oh, one of them is a low floor door. That's why. I suppose look at the thing about America with the, the, how much loading gates they have is that they can just be like, well, we can still accommodate like 100 people in this carriage and have two doors, <laughs> or what, eight doors actually. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Look at this. We're like running side by side. At some point, I need my speed to go up. Okay, I've got 110 coming up. And as soon as I get that 110, I'm... Oh, no. Damn it. Jump the gun. Go on. Aha! I don't think you've got 110. Oh, look at this. We've got a three. We've got a three way. We've got a three way. We've got a three way. That oh you can't really see the Acela, but who cares? Who cares? Oh, let me do the uh, depth of field a little bit. I'll bring the focus point to the middle. Yeah, there we go. Bit of exposure. Bit of vignette. No other way. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. And with all the smoke from the snow as well. Oh, that is good. Even if I do say so myself. Yeah. Oh, you stop into the airport. Oh, oh, bye. Nice knowing you. Not. Oh, he's not even stopping for the airport. You're just going slow. Oh, haha. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Okay, now look, train, train, trains. Come on, way too early for your food. Talking to the dog. <laughs> She's got ideas above her station about when her feeding time is. Whoa! Oh, we're overtaking another one! Oh, but we've got to go down to 85 soon. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, I'll do that now. Start doing it now. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reduce the, the, um, the throttle effort. Because I don't need it. Oh, well, I might as well just do down to 80 then. Oh, no, it's taking me down to 40.
Xbox y fui. There we go. You watch, I'll get down to 45 and it's going to completely... don't like some of these these beeps. Look at that. Take it to me I can go back up already. Ooh, I'm just going to take this down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no, it's throttle I need to bring down, not the bloody... No, don't you dare be overtaking me. Rude. Rude. Oh, now I'm side by side in with this again. I hope you're not the same one from before. I don't think you are. Yes, okay, with your beeps. Always beeping. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. Ah, oh, that gorgeous, eh? Gorgeous. Is that door open? Was that, did he have his one of his doors open? He does. Dangerous. So that's breaking some rule. Oh, we got to 125 soon. And then we really will be leaving him in the dust. So where are we going? Metro Park. Come on, Metro Park. On our way. Beautiful train. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think this. Mm, I think Northeast Corridors are my favourite US routes. Look at that! A cellar, 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 cellar! Gorgeous. And this weather really suits them as well. I don't know if that, I think I think Boston Sprinter was, they said when it launched, it was built with snow in mind. Um, oh no, they didn't. They said it was built with autumn in mind, didn't they? Because of New England. But it looks good with snow. And this one also. The only problem is it's still got the um oh look we got another New Jersey transit going fast, fast, fast. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Only problem is it's got the old overhead lines that like have that kind of very um aliasy kind of appearance. One moment, my dog needs telling. Lupita! Bereki! Not time for food yet. Still got an hour. Oh. <gasps> First thing you always have to do, put it into expression to stop that beeping sound. 45. Okay. Why is it 45? Is it because... Okay. Is it because there's a train in front of us or is it because it's bringing us down ridiculously early for that junction? I think it's because it's bringing us down ridiculously early for that junction. Yeah. It's like still four miles away. It could be because there's a train somewhere. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so though. Or understand why. Well, we'll see. Nearly there. We'll see if it puts us up again as soon as we're down. I think this is a safety system they've always struggled with. Yeah, I don't know what, why the break-in is being very weird. <sighs> I think maybe it's just a, so I'm using it as a, a blending the cruise control brake with the um, the train brake. Oh, oh no, wait, no, I thought it was, I thought it was let me go then. It's like, no, no, it's not. Hello, Mr. New Jersey Transit. Me reduced to sauntering along. I hope it's not going to be for the next three miles, but it probably is. It's 
this is what I'm talking about. They've never got the safety systems right for this. Like, I cannot see any possible reason why it would be bringing me down to this speed now. When there's a clear track ahead of me. And I don't have to switch for a while. Unless it knows that train is going to be in the station occupying it. And so it's just slowing me down for the sake of it. But I don't, I don't see how it would know that. Until it's crossed, crossed over this switch. And even so, like, I am miles away. That train ain't even stopping there. <sighs> cool, you also have a safety system. More like a slowdown system, for the sake of it. It's because there's two systems. I think there's, I think, I think accesses the system that um oh look it's letting me go up now thank you access is, access is the system that regulates line speed and atc is the is the um yeah oh, is the um, s the um, signal speed for some reason it just will not let you Yeah, why are you beeping? Why are you beeping? I'm under the speed. Ah, oh. oh! I'm not turning it off because, to some degree, it must be doing something right. But like, come on, I'm one minute away and I'm still two miles away, and you're keeping me to 45. Like, who does that? It's the same on Boston. Boston, I think, is a little bit better, but it does still bring you down for speeds um, way before you, it seems like you should you should be brought down. Um, but then I don't know exactly how the system works, so it could be right. But I've I, just like if it is right, then they then they definitely did not build the timetable to take account of it. Because you can't keep the timetable with the safety with the safety systems on, not unless you got some magic way to do the braking that I don't know about, or the magic way to shut up that beeping sound that I don't know about. <laughs> Good thing is I'm terrible at giving the timetable, even when I don't have a timetable, even when I do have workable timetables. So, um, the good thing is that, like, uh, it doesn't, doesn't really bother me if I'm late, because I'm late usually at the best of times. Painful, isn't it? Painful when you're like, there's nothing in front of me, you can at least let me go to 90. Trenton will probably be even worse. To be fair, we've done all the fun stuff now. I don't think this is going to be anywhere near as much AI on the rest of the line, which is basically just like a straight run down to Trenton um, at 120, 130, 140 even. Um, all of the action is around here, up here, because that's where all the trains um, are, are coming off. I think there's like Jersey City or Princeton or something somewhere down here that... Um, that uh, the trains go off. Trains go off on, um, but there's not as many um, branch offs from now on where there's AI using them. Oh, already in a minute and 40 seconds late. Oh, here's the platform. Bring us down. Metro Park. What? That's the like the least distinctive name ever. Metro Park. <laughs> Is that the name of a town, a neighborhood? I'm guessing it's a stadium. Metro Park. See a stadium, but. Ooh. Yes. Dun 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 dun. dun. But. 
Boom! Only two and a half minutes late. My unimpressed face. Oof, I'll put that to 45. I'll pick up the passengers. Is there anyone in Metro? But not a single person's getting on this train. Nobody. Anybody? Nobody. Fools. Fools! Boom, boom, boom. I do like the uh, effect of the snow, though. Gorgeous. Ooh, it's a nice angle. It's look very big. Oh, right, close the doors. Close the doors, stop talking, and get going! Yeah, right, okay. Off we go. See, look, putting the sand on does seem to, seem to give it a little bit more traction. I don't think it did anything, but it just it seems to alleviate it somewhat. See the amps go up whenever you put the, the um, sand on. Yeah, 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 come on. I'll stop it yo-yoing. Silly dog. You want attention? Hmm? Still got an hour. Well, 50 minutes now. You're cute. I'll bring on camera, camera one day. She's certainly not camera shy. She's always showing up in the background of my work, Zoom calls. But I have a wider angle for that. I don't want it all zoomed in on my face like it is now, like this camera. Oh, here we go, up to 105. Well, it says 110, but I think we have a speed reduction coming up. There we go. Okay. Oh, is there a safety system that's more beefy than this one? Um, well, PZB, it isn't ordinarily beepy, but if you get it wrong, it's very beepy and very annoying. But this one's beepy when you're getting it right. That's the annoying thing. But again, I think it's because like it takes a lot longer to move the levers to like suppression than it does with the, with a the controller than it does in it would in real life. In real life, you just go. And there you'd, there you'd have it. Really, 95? Ugh. I'll bring it down to 95 then. Are these kinks really gonna force the train to be that slow. Ugh, what's the point of being a tilty train if you can't take a corner? 150. No, well, the good thing is the train looks good, sounds lovely. If it wasn't for the like excessive beeping, it would be a real pleasure to drive as well, because it does have a nice, a nice. Um... Oh, and if it wasn't for that cruise control issue where it whacks it up to full, full, full effort, whatever you've set the um, the the, the um, throttle to. If it didn't have that issue, it would be a really, really nice one of the better trains to drive in the game. Yes, I know. See, it's kind of annoying that in this cab, the the um, ATC and the access are just down there, out of the way, behind the um, the hood. Although I do play with the old hood, and there is another one I could use that runs along the top. But I just, I don't know. I don't like change. Here we go. Another engine. <laughs> I think the reason why, um, at this end of the line, there are fewer is because there's quite a few services that are like diesel that would go off 
the bottom as well as the um, northeast corridor ones um, and they're not modeled in but this is like I said this is more in the sticks than the New York end so it does kind of make sense why it would be less busy 125 I think on the last section, just down here, we get up to 100 and 140. Trenton track four, we've got 12 minutes. That's I did. That's that should be enough time. But this signalling, oh look at that, we got that. We got an N, NJT full pelt. Oh, love it, love it. It's very nice when um. I also love that it's like four tracks pretty much the whole way and with these big huge like um, telephone wire, pantograph, um, electrical overhead wire like combination uh, poles. Because they're so tall it gives you like that a, a tunnel effect like you get with high speed. Like, Well this is I guess it is like as close as they get in America to high speed. I mean this is, uh, this line is faster than um, any domestic services run in the UK? I believe, I believe the um, the southeastern high-speed domestic service only goes at 140, whereas this, oh no, this goes 140. Well, no, no, this goes 150. I think that's the highest speed it is allowed to go to. Only the Eurostars are allowed to like go to like the full-on, I think 100, 100 or two. 160, 170 miles an hour once they get out of out of London. It's all kilometres, so it's hard to, to compare it. Look, we got 145 there. That's faster than uh, southeastern high speed. Re 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 regional services. Here we go. But how much longer this remains the fastest route in America remains to be seen because they are building up a proper high speed railway in, in California. Brightline West, which is like proper, it's not like the the Florida one, which is like a diesel train that goes about 90. Um, if that, I think it might actually only go 79. It's a um, proper grade separated dedicated high speed line between Las Vegas and the outskirts of Los Angeles, it doesn't go to the center. Um, but that's like years away, years away. I don't think they've even done the, um, I don't think they've done any work for it, any significant work for it. Yeah, I think they've built some viaducts and, and, and um, embankments and stuff but they haven't built any of the stations or anything I think they only published the stations recently what they were going to look like they're all very suburban as well but I think because Los Angeles is that kind of city that's how you have to do it I mean France made made a lot of its TGV stations are like suburban on the outskirts of cities and then it switches to the slow lines to go into the center but if you live on the outskirts of a city it's better to just get off at the um, suburban station and then and then drive from there. And so yeah, that's what the TGV route in the game is like. You go, you go from. Um, uh, oh look at that! Some nice parked up stock. Yeah, so the TGB route in this game, you go from, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It's Marseille to, um, it's not Marseille, is it? Is it Marseille? Or is it Nice? I think it's Marseille. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's a, it's a wine soundy place. <laughs> That makes sense.
I think I did read the other day that they are spending quite a bit of money um, to build, to investigate a line, or to like provide the engineering basis for a line between Dallas and Houston, because it has like very high amounts of um, of of air traffic for such a short route, and then the motorways as well can't handle it. So they're like, why not build a train? But it's one of those American states where the state is very Republican, but the the cities are all very liberal, pro-public transport. So whether it ever happens, we will see. Until then, we have the Northeast Corridor and the Acela. See, we got 150 coming up. Get in. But we'll only be at 150 for five minutes, if that. We've got seven minutes till we get there. Dun, 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 dun. What's that coming towards us? Is that another cellar? No, it's a cab car. Ooh, look at that. Metroliner. Love it. And 150. Whoa. Because we're on a straight line. Like <laughs> a complete straight line. <laughs> I guess when you're on a straight line, there aren't that many constraints to speed. It's mostly when you're on, um, when you've got to deal with curves or gradient shifts. So it's a straight line and it's basically flat, a little bit downhill. So as long as the tracks are like sufficiently ballasted, you can just make it fast, fast, fast. Yeah, I do have um, do have some engine mods installed that will make the, the draw distance a bit better. So it might not look like this if you're playing on a console or an unmodded vanilla version on PC. But who cares? Because this game is... Uh, the TS4 will be gone soon, will be TS5, and there'll be a whole bunch of new mods that you'll have to install. I might just see how it looks and then decide what, what to reinstall. Because you get you lose track when you install lots of mods. You just don't know what you've installed anymore. Even though I've got this mod manager, because nobody calls their mods what they are, <laughs> or like a simple name. So it's like TTRS4. You're like, what the, what is that? What does that mod do? Turn it off and the whole game breaks. That's a New Jersey Transit, I think. Come in, Nacha. Whoosh. Oh, that's lovely. Catches the light, light very nicely, this train does. Lovely. Oh, you're going to reach down to 135. Well, I suppose we're gonna, we might even get brought down sooner because the signaling is going to start faffing about at some point. preempt any massive speed drops we're going to get thrown at us by the signalling. Nine miles away. Mm. There we go. Miles, dun dun. Which platform are we going into? I guess it's, it's usually when you're in the Acela, it's this one. Yeah, yeah, it's that one. Uh, yeah. Dun dun. Come on. Hmm. 
Yeah, so I think that the next preview is going to be Frankfurt Fulda. Well, it will be, because that's the third one. Um, I think that's going to be on Wednesday. And then the game will launch in early access on Thursday. And then a week, five days later, like the, the following Monday or Tuesday, it will go, it'll launch officially. But they did say early on, I think, that um, the the um, the version that that like unlike previous years, all your content should be available within early access. Because like in previous years, if you got early access, only the routes that come with the game, that version of the game, are available. All the old ones take don't arrive until like launch day. And they said for PC specifically, that would be different. Um, that they would, they should all be there. But for console, it'll probably be the same as as previous years. Um, and from what I can gather, the the West Coast, the Great Western remaster isn't coming until later on. But I'm sure I read somewhere or they said something that it was going to be there from TSW five day one. But then it appeared that then there's an image that says it doesn't come until like three plus months or later or something like that. So I don't know what to believe. We'll find out. I would love for it to come because it would basically be like we'd be getting two new UK routes. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't get it. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? We've got an 80 coming up. Okay, I'll start doing the 80 now. Well, it, it told me anyway. Okay, we, I mean, well, we're still two miles away. I, I still feel like we've been brought down to speed quite fast, but um, but then yeah, we do have to switch over the line, so we will get brought down to forty at some point. I think probably to do that. All right, throttle. Oh. Two miles away, so we're going to be sauntering along at 45 for two miles. No. Wrong button. I mean, the one good thing about this train is that the brakes do come on and off very quickly. So, like, you can release them very quickly once you've hit the mark. Whereas in some, some trains, um, Especially the big le diesel ones, it takes ages to release the brakes. Yeah, there we go. Let's get a nice another saunter. Oh, you're, you're joking, really? 30. Do we really need to be at 30 for this? Yes, this is our switch. Nope. <laughs> nope, it would make sense if it were, but no, as isn't for like, right until we get to the station. <laughs> but we're going very super slow, just because we have to, I suppose. <laughs> So yeah, um, we're now nearly two minutes um, two minutes late. Still a mile away. Oh, are you joking? I mean, literally bringing me down to twenty for absolutely no reason. This signaling system is annoying. If it's like this in real life, I just do not know how they run trades. I think that's the reason this 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 um. This route gets so badly reviewed, it must be the signaling system. Because if there's a decent amount of AI now. Trains look good. I think the modeling is pretty good for the route. Um, but yeah, this signaling system, oof. You can't be on time and safe. <laughs> you 
If you want to be on time, you got to turn those systems off. Yeah. So I was just testing my mouse. <sighs> okay, well, there's a platform. We're going to be over three minutes late. I hope I don't have like a performance based pay because I don't think I'm getting my um, on time bonus in this if I'm if I'm working on the northeast corridor. Oh, now it, now it's like oh, signaling it will allow you back up. <laughs> oh no, access line speed goes back up, but I don't think I should be doing that. I should be doing it down to 10. The intention of stopping. Dun, dun, dun. Oof, those sounds. Oof, ooh, glad to be out. Any trains coming up full pelt? Nada. And there we go. Well, that was New York to Trenton on the Northeast Corridor with speeds that are up to 150 for five minutes before you get brought down to 20 for a mile. <laughs> Probably a route that must be nicer to drive without the safety systems on, but um, but let's see. Did I get a gold star in spite of being forced to be four minutes late? It's funny because the time taken does. I think that does align with what it says on the menu, but then the actual time taste ta table does not account for it at all. Oh, I think I've already done this service. That's why I'm not going to get a medal at all. Well, I will leave it there then. Um, I didn't talk much about um, the San Bernardino line because it's very similar to the Antelope Valley line, to be honest. Um, you get a different train and there is a bit of a different vibe, but um, the preview kind of shows it all. Like it, it's um, the big diesel trains, not too many stops, not frequent stops. Um, but obviously when you do stop, it takes a lot, a long time to get those big diesel trains up to speed. There was quite a lot of, um, in the services they chose, there were quite a lot of um, freight AI. But I think some of it came in from Cajon Pass and some of it came in from Sherman Hill. Uh, I don't have Sherman Hill, so maybe I'll pick up it on a sale if I want to make that route a bit busier. Um, I can't remember if they said that the um, Union Pacific stuff would all be AI only. It wouldn't actually be stuff you could drive. Um, but I like anything that makes a route busier. But we'll have to see if I like driving that route. Um, and what else did they say? Uh yeah, I've got Cajon Pass, so that will bring in the um the uh the stuff, and um yeah, like it's T minus like four days now till till um TSW five, still hyped for the Pendolino and the West Coast Main Line. That's probably the first video I'm gonna make. I assume, um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make another video between now and that launch, so I might not be able to make anything to celebrate the German launch. Um. If I do, it'll be a, if I do make another video, it'll be German themed. Um, um, but if not, I will see you in TSW5 if I don't make any more videos in TSW4. Um, um, probably driving a Pendolino at full pelt down the West Coast Main Line, which I cannot wait for. Um, so, yeah, if you're um, interested in TSW5, look out for that. Um, and I'll probably still play old routes eventually from previous games once I've got the, the new ones out of my system. Um, but for now, um, enjoy the rest of your day, week, month, and hasta luego.